afternoon. Today we will be interviewing the Mrs. Landis, Mrs. Landis class on October 20th, 2011. Mrs. Landis, what got you interested in painting? I've been interested in painting since I was a little girl. I used to actually copy comic books when I was about four years old. And I loved to paint ever since. Mrs. Landis, what how did you get interested in the history of York? I took an internship at the Historical Society of York County. And I've always been interested in history, and that introduced me to the history of York. And I became so interested when they offered me a job, I said yes. Why do you think people wanted to have the murals painted in York? Uh, originally, they wanted to have them painted to attract tourists. How did you get involved with the murals? Uh, I had painted a few uh, background murals in uh, the Historical Society while I was working there. And uh, uh, Mr. Appel's assistant, Holly Stetler, saw them. And she knew he wanted some um, Louis Miller murals. And these were all of Louis Miller. So she asked him to look at them, and he liked them. So he asked you to play. What role did you play in the murals being painted in New York? What role did I play? Well, uh, at first, everyone would gather in Mr. Pell's office, and uh, we would choose which one of the murals uh, we, we all wanted to paint. And then we would, uh, they would put the dry it or the original blocking up for us to paint on. And uh, then we'd start. What are your thoughts and feelings about the mirrors coming to York when you first heard about the project? I didn't like the idea because York has such wonderful architecture, I couldn't imagine how you could add to it. What made you change your mind about the murals? Well, when I saw some of them painted, and they painted them in very appropriate places, uh, I thought they were wonderful. What did you have to do in order to be selected to paint the mini murals? To paint the mini, mini murals? I just had to, well, when they saw my work, it was all all right. I just had to, to show them what I had done. And do you want any further? Anything further on that question? No. Is that enough? Okay, thank you. What was the process you used to make the mini murals? Ah, I projected. They were all done uh, from Lewis Miller paintings. And I, I have the Lewis Miller book with me later on. I'll show it to you. Uh, and they were all... Uh, had to be very accurate. So I would take an overhead projector, and at night, we would go to Cherry Lane and project them and draw in exactly what we wanted to draw. And then uh, the next day, during the day, we could paint them. How did the weather affect the meals? Ah. <laughs> Uh, well, we were usually pretty careful to select our weather, but one day uh, we, did, we had to get one done, and we painted it, and unfortunately it rained. We were using water-based paint, and it rained right after we painted it, and it all washed off. But mostly, they weren't affected by the weather. When you paint acrylic, it stays there. Okay? Me? Who has... How has the weather affected the murals? I think that was the one I just answered. But you mean uh, after after we painted them? Now, it, mostly it's the sun that affects them. The sun will fade the murals, and a few of them that haven't been coated will uh, will be uh, faded by the sun. What does this sit? 
What does the city do if the room gets vandalized? Oh, well, two of the Miller murals were vandalized from Cherry Lane. And I went with the city, and they used power washing at a very low uh, power and uh, took some of the uh, graffiti off. And after that, I repainted them, the, the parts that had been completed. To your knowledge, what feature, was future preservation of the mur murals ever discussed? No, not to my knowledge. I don't think so. Until after that uh, graffiti uh, business, and then I decided that they should be coded and I talked to the people at the trust and they coded them for me. Why do you think the murals are important to York? I think they really show York's history, even better than most of the history books do. Uh, they show women, which the history books don't mention, and they show blacks, which the history books don't mention, so they really give a good idea of York's history. Is there anything else you would like to share with us? Uh, I think we've been pretty accurate about everything. Uh, just that some of the murals are going to disintegrate and there is nothing you can do about it. Uh, so just feel sorry for them.